кто? А? Вдоль под Питерской? I met some crazy characters yesterday. I think the reason why they are so eccentric is because it's so oppressive here. It's so stark and heavy, and they're worried about the secret police, the FSB coming to get them, that they hide in their eccentricities. They're, they're crazy guys with crazy hair and big long beards. In America, it's like sort of Hollywood and then indie films. Here, it's crazy people making crazy films based on sort of very far out intellectual theory. We're here to shoot a film today, and this is where we're going to shoot today, which is an old Stalinist block of flat. It's pretty stark and cold and gray and oppressive. It reeks vaguely of shit, people pricking garbage. And you say, this is the most expensive city on Earth. I wanted to understand exactly how alcohol cinema was a subset of parallel cinema, but they sort of just grabbed me and threw me in the room. What am I interviewing them about? <laughs> We were just, okay, here we go. It really, really smells bad in there. Holy shit. Hello. Okay, you're the leader. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you very much. Well, nice to meet you. We came here to shoot an Alco Cinema film. They brought all the characters, set up the set. They had a director, they had a producer, everybody. No cameras. It's kind of amazing. What, what are you doing? What are you protesting? We here drink for the crisis. Stop the crisis! 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 Stop the crisis. Stop the crisis. We are against the crisis, and we don't want it anymore. Stop the crisis! Stop, Stop the crisis! Stop the crisis! Stop you have to drink vodka, then pickle, vodka, then pickle, vodka, then fish. Which, by the way, made the room reek, because there's only pickled fish, some sort of meat, smoked cheese, pickled garlic, that with lots of booze, cigarettes, and the B.O. of eight stinky men. It was like a wall. And that's what Alco Cinema seems to be, an excuse to get wasted. I've had so much vodka in about 14 minutes that I'm pouring with sweat right now. Capitalists. 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 Death to the capitalists. Which is, what's amazing about it is, it's not about communism or capitalism or socialism or anything else, because they don't know what it's about. They don't know what a global crisis is. Russia was closed for so long that this is all new to them. It's like, what the fuck is going on? We don't know what's going on, but we're against it. So we're going to protest it, because protesting leads to social change. I guess so. <laughs> not where we're from. I wanted to say a few words about something about the nature of Алкокино, само понятие алкокино возникло, как мне кажется, очень давно в России и оно является, по сути, альтернативой западной порнографии. Finding sort of pegging down parallel cinema and what it was. We knew there's a lot of booze involved, there's a lot of crazy characters, but everyone said, Oh, you have to go see Evgeny Ufit. He's still making films, and he was the founding father of the St. Petersburg division of parallel cinema. So we went to St. Petersburg to check out what he was doing. We're on an old Soviet train going towards St. Petersburg. It's about six in the morning. I'm very tired. I've heard about uh, Evgeny's films, and uh, they're pretty crazy. A little bit nervous. And where is this here? Is that St. Petersburg? Yeah, it's in We're going here. Jesus, love, 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 love. 
So we arrived at St. Petersburg and it was a really surrealistic scene because there were just army guys everywhere and packs of wild dogs roaming throughout the train station. After the long trip from Moscow, Yevgeny's got an exhibition here at the Russian Museum of Ethnography, and we're going to go meet him and check out some of his artwork, and then hopefully make a film with him, which means I have to lie down with thousands of naked bodies and maybe have sex with them. Inside, it's an old palace of Peter the Great, is this massive floor to ceiling, beautiful pink marble room, priceless room. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Evgeny Yufid. Yes, yes. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. When we asked Evgeny about his paintings, he explained that they were inspired by a true event in Russian history where the military experimented with making super soldiers by breeding men with apes. And if you think that sounds fucked up, wait until you see his films. Now, Yevgeny's substrata of parallel cinema is called necrorealism. Now, during the socialist realism period, you couldn't show death, you couldn't show bums, you couldn't show unhappiness. So, Yevgeny just puts all of that into his films. Were you ever worried that you would get in trouble from the state when you were making your films? Нет, один раз, нет, было несколько раз, были несколько раз инциденты, когда мы снимали на улице какие-то эпизоды странные, даже пленку конфисковали один раз, отправили ее в комитет госбезопасности на проверку, что просто идиоты, маразматики. So he asked us actually, hey, do you want to make a movie? And we said, we'd like to do that more than anything. After this, we will go to a documentary film studio where I prepared a scene and we will shoot. Perfect. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Where Evgeny took us next was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. It's the old headquarters of the Soviet Documentary Filmmaking Union. Looks like it's straight out of the 30s. <laughs> It's just this huge old building with floor to ceiling, old stock, old footage, just racks of 35 millimeter cameras, and nobody else, just Evgeny. He has the keys. Like machine gun. <laughs> yeah, that's the, it's the Kalishnikov with cameras. <laughs> Tradition, Going down into the pit of hell. <laughs> 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 <laughs>